There seem to be so many people who are depressed that we really should take a look at the causes of depression in the first place. The factors that contribute to depression are well known and well researched, but what causes it is not quite understood. New studies have uncovered some of the factors that contribute to the probability of people developing depression. Stress. Stress takes the first place prize. It's true that any stressful environment or situation can lead to depression. It can be anything such as social stress, getting a job, relationship difficulties, worrying about money, staying up late, lifestyle out of control, pressures of school and getting good grades. Other events that could cause depression are death, change of job, moving from one place to another, even the fear of the unknown can cause depression. The list is endless. While these events cannot be avoided, we must come up with an effective stress coping mechanism to be able to thrive even in stressful situations because they are never going to go away. Stressful situations just keep changing. Drinking and drugs. People who take drugs and alcohol are more prone to depression. When these substances are used at a young age, they can affect a person's brain in negative ways. These substances help make the person feel good temporarily, but in most cases, people become addicted. Drugs release dopamine in the pleasure center of the brain. For example, delicious food boosts dopamine release by about 50%. Sex, on the other hand, doubles this number. However, drugs can increase dopamine release anywhere from 4 to 10 times. This unnatural high almost certainly leads to depression after the high goes away. This substance is the surest way to fry brain circuitry. Drugs make a person depressed more than it makes him happy. This effect will spiral downward until the person doing drugs will want more and more of the substance to break the cycle of depression that follows each high and so the addiction is born. Not enough sleep. Studies show that up to 40% of adults do not get the proper amount of sleep per day and among students. Up to 71% complain of sleep disorders and lack of sleep. Sleep is essential to a person's health. During sleep, the body repairs itself and reorganizes thought. Lack of sleep contributes to a lack of coherence in brain waves. This scenario often leads to depression. Sleeping during the day and staying up late also interferes with the body's natural rhythms. This can lead to a sense of depression. Here are few ways on how to prevent depression. Sleep is a vital part of preventing depression. Balance your life with enough rest and exercise every day. Most people require seven to eight hours of sleep per day. Keep some regularity in your life. Orgaze your activities so they can come at expected and regular times. If your weekly, daily, or monthly routine is set, then your body has time to get used to the activities. This will lead to a reduced chance for depression to set in. Don't push yourself beyond your limits. Keep stress in check and try to avoid stressors if you can. If this can't be done, then try to deal with the stressors in a manner that minimizes the damage it causes. Sunlight and exercise can help the brain to function a higher level. Make time to enjoy the sunlight and try to stay active in the daylight when possible. Keep away from alcohol and drugs. They may seem attractive, but all they really do is cause havoc in a person's life. Make at least one warm meal daily a priority. Good eating habits and good health are important when keeping away from depression. Have fun every day. Nothing takes the load off of depression like some good old fun time. Social activities such as chatting, joining a support group sports, and other hobbies can do wonders towards healing a stressed out and busy mind. Depression can be avoided and treated and it can be fun doing so. Follow the above mentioned tips for a brighter and happier disposition each day. 
you will look and feel better for it.